I remember when Keith Thurman used to talk that shit. He used to talk that shit that I want to hear. That grimy, that gutter. I want to smoke with everybody. Floyd Mayweather, Chino Maidana, you name it. Keith Thurman wanted to smoke with all of them. And that was one of the main reasons why a lot of people was rocking with Keith Thurman. And it pains me to say that he just don't talk like that no more. He just don't talk like that no more. Like, now he talks and is more strategic and is almost Floyd Mayweather-esque. Like, he knows that he's the man. He knows that he calls all the shots. So he talks in that fashion. Message to Keith Thurman. We want the old Keith Thurman back in terms of the talking. We want to hear you talk that shit. We want to hear you talk that Grammy shit. I understand you got married and all that other good stuff and life done changed for you. You got a couple extra dollars in your pocket. You making moves now, but we still want to hear you talk that shit. And ain't nothing stopping you from talking that shit. That's just my personal message to Keith one time Thurman. Now, I got into a discussion with a couple of buddies of mine, and they're Earl Spence fans. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm an Earl Spence fan, too, but, like, they they will ride or die for Earl Spence Jr. Like, you would think they were, like, family members, like cousins or, you know, something like that. Like, they grew up with him. Like, that's how hard they go for Earl Spence Jr. And they were giving off the impression that just because they thought Keith Thurman was ducking Earl Spence— that Earl Spence is the better fighter, and I had to stop him. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop right there. I said, just because you think Earl Spence is being ducked by Keith Thurman does not mean that Earl Spence is the better fighter. I said, Keith Thurman is still the king at 147 pounds, not only because he has two belts, But because he has the better resume, he's been doing it longer, and he's battled adversity in the ring. I'm like, Keith Thurman is the better fighter. He's the better fighter. He's been in with the better competition. He's he's beaten Danny Garcia in a unification fight. He's beaten Sean Porter in a fight. He's beaten Luis Colazo in a fight. He's beaten Robert the Ghost Guerrero. He beat Leonard Bundle. He beat Julio Diaz. He beat Soto Carraz. He's been in the ring with great competition and has beaten two of the top five guys in the welterweight division. And he's battled adversity through some of these fights. Robert Guerrero, he fought 10 rounds with a hematoma on his head. Luis Colazzo, he battled that body shot, didn't go down from that body shot and continued to fight. Sean Porter, there was another moment with Sean Porter where he battled a body shot that hurt him bad and he went running across the ring, but he did not go down and he completed the fight. That's the marks of a champion. Earl Spence hasn't gone through any fire yet. The most fire Earl Spence has gone through is the first six rounds with Kell Brook. And you can ask anybody, either people had it even three rounds to three or they had Kell Brook up before the eye injury and that's just facts so there's a lot of reasons why Keith Thurman is the better fighter so I don't want people to think that just because he's quote unquote ducking Earl Spence that he doesn't have the better resume he doesn't have more belts than Earl Spence and he hasn't been through more adversity in the ring Keith Thurman is still the top dog at 147 pounds. He is the best welterweight in the world. Let me know what y'all think. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.